Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever video on this new series of mine showing some sweet stuff that I've been creating within Minecraft. Now, before we get started, this video took a while to make as I've had to learn and code all of this myself. So if you aren't already subscribed, then make sure you do because we are getting close to 1.1k subs and it would mean the world to me if we could hit that. So because this is the first video of this series, I am briefly going to explain the basic swing of things. Each week I'll be showcasing a coding project I've been working on for that week. I won't be going into too much detail about the code itself as I want to keep things fresh and interesting, so I'm mostly just going to cover the progress I've been able to make since the last cut. Every aspect of the video has been marked in the description, so if you want to jump to a certain part, or in this case a certain particle trail, then make sure to do so. Also, if this video can hit 30 likes within the next week, I'll be releasing a part 2 to this showcasing even more unique trails. Anyways, with that all out of the way, let's get coding. I decided to start off strong and immediately code a particle trail using node particles. At first glance, this might not seem too difficult, but it took a while to find out how to change the color of the nodes to exactly what I needed, because the node particle works differently than any other particle. Instead of using RGB values, it uses the value from node blocks. As there are 25 unique node colors for a node block, you have to enter a value between 0 and 1, with each 125th being a different color. After I was able to figure that out, it wasn't too difficult to get the exact colors I needed. So I added sounds to the nodes being displayed, I created a custom menu where you can select a particle trail by left clicking, and edit it by right clicking. Done. That's the notes trail done and dusted. For now. Then I moved on to the next trail, a cloud. Really, creating the cloud in the rain itself wasn't too difficult. It's just putting cloud and rain particles in the right location. I didn't really cover this before, but the way I get the location for the particles is by getting the player's location and adding or subtracting a value from the x, y, and z values. This worked for the notes trail as it didn't really bring any issues with it. The problem with the clouds trail, however, was that as soon as you turned your head, the cloud wouldn't make too much sense. It would always remain static. So I made it so the trail now moves along with the player's direction and oh, that's not right. After looking up a particle move very slowly, I noticed it was indeed following the player's direction, but it was going too fast. And then I realized I was mixing radials and degrees and that never works out. So with some simple maths, I was able to create myself a trail that chases the player around. The way it's done is by using their yaw value to determine the angle the particle has to be under, along with the set distance from the player to the particle. After that, it's maths, formulas, trigonometry, you get the deal. Then I created half the cloud chasing the player just to make sure nothing was messed up, and then I had all the parts of the cloud up and running. And yeah, then there was rain. You might notice an offset for the rain particles, and sadly, there's nothing I can really do about that. The rain particles aren't in the exact location they're supposed to be, and since I don't want to spend a million years in this video, this is the best I can do for now. After creating this amazing looking trail though, if I can say so myself, I added the ability to turn both the rain and volume on or off. Because the trail would mess up entirely, I added player movement detection so the particle would turn on seconds after the player hasn't moved. And because that took so damn long, I just decreased the time to 3 seconds. This also works for every trail I create, not just this one by the way. Last but not least, I added a flames particle trail. The inner circle has 6 fire particles and the outer one has 12 and is further out. Except for double the particles, I didn't really do anything exciting for this one, so... But unintentionally, I did add motion detection to this as well, so the trail turned along with the player, which wasn't necessary, but since I do want to keep consistency, I'd rather just do it on every trail I create. So I went back to the notes particle trail and added the motion detection to it and oh that looks good. Then I went ahead and made sure everything was working fine, every message was in place, and every text was correct. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next week, leave your ideas in the comment section. I'd love to read through all of them. Bye-bye.